Okie dokie. So what we have right here is a drain. We got to fix this drain. This is the sim assembly and everything. I got it all in a package right here, which I'll show you and the parts that we need, but this is going to be really simple. So let's, let's see what the package is. This is the barcode. And you can see here, one and one half or one and one quarter. That's the, uh, that's the trick because this is one and a quarter and this is one and a half. So there's a, a deal that can connect them together here. So that's why I got this and that's why I'm showing you. So that's what's gonna make this easy. You're gonna need some plumber's putty. And I'm gonna take this apart because now I know it all fits together. Let's see how, how it all goes together though. And how we get this actual part right here. The first thing we wanna do is get this piece that came with actually this faucet, which I have a video on that if you wanna see how I hooked that faucet up. Um, but now we're under the drain and I have to put this piece in first. So I'm going to take this all apart. Leave this uh, little washer on. Take everything else off. Stick it through. It goes like that. But the first thing we want to do is put some plumber's putty on here. So you're going to take you out a piece. I've got one right here. Actually, that might work. This is an old piece that I had. I'm gonna try it out. And you do this and make it like a snake, like this. And you wanna set it around the rim here, just like this. Okay, so I've got it all the way around. I'm gonna even it out, push it around a little bit, make it look like it'll actually go and spread once you tighten it down. Okay, so I've got it all the way around like that. Nothing super fancy. That little black washer's up there too. And now I'm gonna set it in. And I like it like that. There's the pattern. I have it, you know, make sure your pattern is the way you like it. I like it just like that. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take this piece and it's gonna go up, upwards like this. And this piece has a flat edge, you see, and that sets inside there. And it's gonna, you're just gonna righty tighty all the way up and it'll pull that, it'll pull as this goes up, it'll pull that down. So I'm going to take you underneath and show you what that looks like underneath. Okay, this is it underneath. And it needs to go like this. Here is that little piece with the cone shape part going up. Okay, and it'll go up against there. Just like that. Now I'm gonna take this piece and you'll see it goes on there like that and righty tighty. Okay, and now that I've got that just barely tight, I'm gonna go back up because you get the idea. I'm gonna tighten it from down below, but I'm gonna look at it from the top to make sure that it looks good. right here pulling down pretty tight as I'm tightening this um, that way it allows this to not spin I'm, I have control of it from underneath and I can still see it because I'm looking over very tight very hand tight and now I'm going to remove 
all this. Put it back, put it in it back in the container. Okay, and we'll leave the residue there for when we turn the water on and we'll clean it up really nice. So now let's go underneath the sink and see what we gotta do. A lot more work underneath. Pipe over here, this is the pipe that I'm gonna have to cut. I'm gonna use that sawzall. I got my flashlight under here for some light. And these are the two pieces inside the package. See one is thin and one is thicker. Okay, one, the thicker one goes from the one and one quarter to one and a half. That's uh, how you're able to do it. And it has this little edge too. It's just thicker. So what we're gonna do is first, you have this piece coming straight down. And how do we connect onto this? Well, I'm gonna take this thicker piece, this thicker one, and I'm going to set the cone part inwards where this is flat on the this flat this is the flat edge right here the cone part is inside and I'm going to push it up over this pipe first I'm going to put this on okay All I did was tighten that nut on there and put that little red washer, the thicker one. That's all we did. Okay, and all we got to do is connect into there. This is two inch. Going from one and a quarter to one and a half to two. Now, there's this piece. The cone edge goes here downwards. And the smaller washer cone edge goes downwards in this and this sets on there. But in order to get this nut on there, it has to go around and through. Now it's on there. Cone edge down. Okay. Okay, now we're coming down from the sink. We put the plumber's putty. Water's traveling down. This is tight. It's not going to leak here. It's coming up here. We've tightened this down. It's not going to leak here. Water's going to go this way. It needs to run into this pipe. So now how do we do that? This is the tricky part. So come in close. we got to get this in there from one and a half to two inch. So we're going to have to glue this and we want to dry fit all this first. So I have to put this on here and I need a little stretch. I'm going to have to go to the store to get what I need. I'll need a little piece of uh, two inch, which I have, and I need a coupling just like this one that goes from two inch to one and a half inch and I need a small piece of one and a half inch pipe to go in between there. So there you have it. I'm gonna have to be right back though. After fighting scorching winds and crazy blizzards I found what I needed to slay the dragon. Let's get to work. Gonna go ahead and cut it about right here. But anyway, that's not important. I'm just gonna show you how to cut this. I just hold it in one hand, free here in the air, and I, or against your leg, and the other hand, I'm going right here. And I'm just gonna cut slowly. <clears throat> cut it straight.
substrate, which I have, and that's all I need. Okay. That's how you cut the pipe. Or you can use a hacksaw. Okay, so what I have here is you can see the sink drain. It comes down. There's that bolt we tightened down. This is the piece that comes down. And uh, all I've done is put those little spin nut things with the washers on there. This was the big one, and I put the little one over here on this cap. We've seen how we did all that. I've spun it around. I've loosened this up where I could spin this around to where it actually fits, and I don't even have to cut it. Um, so what this is, is from an inch and a half, or an inch and a quarter to an inch and a half, and that came inside the kit. And then I went and found a piece of uh, one and a half inch pipe. So that's what this is, just a short stretch of one, an inch, inch, one and a half inch pipe. And then this is a fitting from one and a half to two inch. So then I have a short piece of two inch from here to here, closing that gap. And all I'm going to do is glue and clean all these pieces. And I'm going to show you how to glue and clean all this. But um, if this video is helpful in any way, go ahead and like it. Uh, subscribe to my channel if you like home improvement videos. And I'm going to show you how all this works and actually turn the faucet on here in the end. And we'll see how this drain works if we got any leaks. So stay close. keep this on tight just get that out of the way I just moved it out of the way there and I'm going to take these pieces apart okay that's all it is and that's a 90 connecting onto a piece of two inch pipe and I, you'll see how I did all this in my drains playlist this is a 90 going to a short stretch of pipe to a two inch down to a one and a half, one and a half inch stretch of pipe right here. Um, and then we got a one and a half down to one and a quarter. Okay, so there's how it all goes and I'm gonna start cleaning them one by one. Purple first. first one okay now the glue and you got to do this fast the glue okay Push it on and do a quarter turn. Hold it. Hold it for about five seconds or 10 seconds. Okay, I just put several pieces together at once. You can do that. Um, I was just showing you how to do it. Now I'm working on it. connected it into that 90 and see how it comes out and I've got all the pieces glued together everything's there I'm gonna hold it for 10 seconds I'm gonna set you down now this still fits this still fits in here we just gotta glue it I'm going to tighten these down and let this set for a few minutes. So let's go outside, let it vent out a little bit in here, and let this all dry. And we'll come back in and we'll turn on the water. See, it comes down with this nut, this nut, and those two washers. 
runs out downhill with these fittings. 90 down into the main sewer line, which I have a video, like I said, on all that. Let's go outside and we'll turn on the water in five minutes. I'm gonna set the light underneath here so we can see if there's any leaks. Let's turn it on. Cold only because my hot water is actually not hooked up yet. Okay, there's full blast. We're up top, we're on. Let's check underneath. There's a lot of water coming uh, through that faucet and a lot of water going down that drain hole, but there ain't no water going down on that floor now. I tell you that much. Oh yeah. Right there. And that's how you do it.